Run, river, run, run through the hills. Run, river, run to the sea. Run, river, run to your place beneath the sun. Run, river, run. Hi, this is Jan Luce. Welcome to be my guest. Today is May 2nd, 2019, and it is the seventh year anniversary of Be My Guest. And as I was sharing with Glenn Fowler, uh, our show's producer, little did we know when we started in May 2nd how fast and how successful this show would progress. <laughs> it has been amazing. In all my years of broadcasting, I don't think every, anything moved that fast and that much. So... Happy birthday to happy be happy and be my guest. Now today we have Janice McIntyre with us, and she is the owner of Jenny's Jenny Baby's Doll Hospital in Hopkinton, right up the road. I've probably gone by her a few times, never even knew it was there. Yeah, Jenny, uh, Janice, welcome. Thank you. I read about you in which what was it? Was it the Express, the Blackstone Valley Express? What, how did I find out about I you? I think you may have seen the Chronicle episode. No, I you called me right after that. Were you in one of the papers? I do, I rarely I watch. In the Middlesex, uh, Boston Globe, Metro West. Yes, that was it. That Jan <laughs> Janice repairs dolls, and she's going to mm -hmm. show you some of the work that she has done. There's a doll right beside her, and he looks like he's mangled. <laughs> <laughs> but Paul, I don't know if you can. This is what she's working on right now, up like this, right? Yes. Same doll. This is how he came to me in this picture. Okay. And this is part of the progress. His, he was all broken here and here. Uh, his leg was broken off. So he is in the process of being fixed. This is an epoxy putty, two part, that we use. Um, so I had to create and mold the top part. And then you sand, fill, sand, fill. It has to be done over and over again. Um, along as down here I've done that and then I'll have to take all the paint off and repaint the whole doll. His leg was, foot was cut off here. So he what, is what in the process. What year is he, Janice? 1940s, his composition, which is a compressed wood and glue. And people actually keep these dolls a long time oh, yeah. and then they finally say, gee, I want to restore it. Yeah, yeah. He's got a little cowboy outfit and a cowboy hat, um, which I actually have with me. And he's really quite, uh, overalls, he's quite cute when he's done. Yeah. How long? How long generally? Months to fix something like that? this one is yes. Yeah. This is this came to me, I would say two months ago, and it's for a July birthday. Oh. Gift. Yeah. Okay. So it because it's a process. You have to mold and let it dry, and then sand it, remold, let it dry, and sand it. So there's a process. So Jenny Baby's Doll Hospital and Janice is your gal. If you want those dolls fixed, she is in Hopkinton. Tell them how to get to you. Okay, I'm on right on Route 85 in Hopkinton, down the street from the post office. I live on the corner of Route 85 and B Street, so I'm right on the corner. There's a sign in the front yard, and very easy to find. Very easy to find. You've been doing this for how many years now? <coughs> I've been restoring for about 15 years now. Yes, 2008 <coughs> is when I went to G&M Doll Restoration. I had mm -hmm. done my research. I wanted to learn how to do it professionally. Yeah. So I found them and went down and took their course before you did that, what were you doing? Though? How did, did you know you were going to get into this? Well, I had collected for years, yeah. and um, I, I would always find, I liked antique dolls, always find something with a broken finger or a broken arm or needed a wig. So I kind of learned on my own a bit, but I wanted to learn professionally how to do it. And you opened it? It was a passion. It became a passion. Oh, you must have loved dolls like I did when you were a little girl. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Yes, I, I did. Baby I did. dolls I loved. Yep. I wasn't into Barbie, but baby dolls, yeah. Now, when, I was going to say, you started this that long ago. When did the shop actually open? Is it a shop, or do people have to make an appointment to come see They it? have to make an appointment. Okay, there's yep. a sign there. There's a sign. Okay. Yep, it's in, I have a reception area in a part of my house in the front. It's okay. a three-season porch that I've converted into a reception area. Huh. So it's got dolls there, and it's got articles to read. Um, She's a real entrepreneur. Yeah, I it's love very, that. very I interesting. And then upstairs, I have a shop. Show us some of your dolls now. Okay. You're going to believe some of these beautiful dolls. So this one here. Is she 1908 or? 1904. Simon and Halbig. You can hold her was up. the manufacturer. Yeah, sure. Um, she's got glass sleep eyes and actually human hair, real hair. Yeah. Um, so, and she is what's known as a bisque head ball joint doll. Her, her head is bisque. 
and the body is a composition ball joint which has several different pieces to it. Where do you get and the it's beautiful all strung clothes? together. Do you make the clothes? This one I did not make, no. And I, I in most cases do not make the clothes. Um, I mend antique clothes if they come with the dolls because I'm real good hand stitching. Yeah. But machine I'm not too don't do too much yeah. with. And the young lady beside her Can you get these oh should she show I'll hold pick it up. her up because kind she, of hard for the these are down on the floor right now. Okay, there you go. <coughs> so this young lady is from the 1950s era. She's a hard plastic doll, American character, and she's just kind of a fancy girl with her earrings and her necklace. Now, do these belong to clients? Or? No, these are from my collection. They're your collection? These are, yeah. This looks this more to me a, like it would be the 40s. 40s. Not yeah. the 50s, but yeah. Yeah, 50s, yeah. From the 50s. That's beautiful. And I just finished this collection. This is a client's collection. Wait till you see this. She even has a doll from India that she made dressed as if she came from India with a beautiful red dot uh, on, on the in center. I love um, that one. Oh. Madame Alexander. Oh, uh, Madame Alexander was a very yeah. uh, well known, still is. I had one doll, I think, that was a Madame Alexander baby doll. So this is one of them. Oh, yeah. But mine was a baby doll. Alexander. Oh, Mal Madame Alexander made all. All kinds of dolls, fashion dolls. Now this looks like Sturbridge Village to me. Almost. These were, um, they're called Madame Al Alexander Kins, and Madame Alexander made many sets of dolls. Um, some of them were known as Little Women dolls. Some of them were known as Around the World dolls. Mm -hmm. They all had names, so their tag on the back. Yeah. This one here, she's got her name on there. Marmy. Yeah, and this is the the little one that we. Oh, there's now here's the talking Indian about girl. with the beautiful turquoise. Oh. Outfit. You just thought that up yourself, right, Janice? No, they come with these costumes. So you collected these, okay? This this is a client's. Oh, they are collection. Yes, that she brought to me. Okay. Because they were all apart. So I can give you an idea of what it takes to get them back together. But each one had to be restrung yeah. with elastic, and then all the clothes cleaned, pressed, and redressed. Elastic would that be like for the arms and legs? Yes. Ah. And the head on. Yes. I love those eyes. So it's a collection here of seven of them. They're all quite... This looks like Sturbridge Village to me, this one. I don't know what it is. Yeah. It and, you know, they have the petticoat underneath. Yeah. They have the bloomers, the petticoat, the slip, and the apron that goes on top. So that what all needs to be pressed and washed. These are 19... Um, with these 1950s too, and that in that era. That's the 1950s. Yeah. Because the way you know what these is, the back says Alex instead of Alexander. Yeah. The newer ones say Alexander on the back. These okay. all say Alex. So these are the vintage ones. Mine was an Alexander in the back of the baby doll. So I that would have been newer, yeah. probably. I remember that. These are vintage. I don't know where you went with that doll I had. And this is one that I brought that I could show you. That's a part. Oh, look at to that. To give you an idea. Yeah. Um, you, the, there's a hook that goes up inside, mm -hmm. and then you hook the elastic onto it and have to pull it down through and then hook it onto the legs. Can you get these at craft stairs, the, the bodies, and then you have to do it yourself at craft um, uh, You stairs. probably could. Yeah. I don't know that you could get Madame Alexander once. You couldn't stuff. do it like this no. girl right here. <laughs> she, she's the pro. And here are the legs. Look at the legs. So there's many parts to it. Yeah. And then there's, I have a hook here. That's the size of the hook. You probably can't, I don't know if you can what get that. What does that do? That goes up into the head, mm -hmm. and then you put the elastic on it, and you have to use a hook to pull it down through to hook it onto the leg. Amazing. I never would have thought of that. Okay. All that goes into it. Yes, there's a lot. And I brought an example of the elastic that we use to Beautiful string the doll. We're talking with Janice McIntyre. She is the head of Jenny Baby's Doll Hospital in Hopkinton. Look at that. Looks like a, a oh, it looks so almost it's like just the a tube. the hospital. <laughs> yeah, but you cut, you just cut a little teeny piece off the top. Yeah. And that goes onto the hook up in the head, and you pull it through, and that's an that, example of how you. So is it the just, same kind of tube they use in a hospital? Sure. Yep. Sometimes they get thicker. Yeah. And, yep. For the bigger dolls, you use the thicker. And piece. this is sort of in the body itself. Yes, exactly. That's a thicker piece. This will, oh, look at it. Looks like macaroni. So that would be for a bigger doll. A big macaroni piece. Yeah. <laughs> Either the tube at the hospital or yeah. macaroni. Yeah. <laughs> so things you would never think of. Well, when I see this, I think, hmm, colonoscopy, endoscopy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you have to get creative. Yeah. That's for sure. Some of us have too creative a mind. Yeah, especially when you get 
you know, dolls that you haven't seen before. There are thousands of types of dolls. Yeah. And I'm never sure what's quite going to come through the door. And if it's something that you've never seen before, yeah. you've just got to work, you know, get creative. I'm at Lowe's a lot in the yeah. tool department and things like that. Yeah. She has quite the collection here. Now, how do they, if they want, they say, I've got a doll, let's say, from um, mm, I don't know, 1960 or something, and it wasn't taken care of. Somebody had given it to me. I don't, but. So they would call you first and make an appointment, right? Yes, they'll call me, and usually what I will ask them to do is, if they haven't yet, uh, email me a picture. A okay. lot of people just find me on the internet through my website. Okay. What and is that while we're talking about it? How do they get a hold of Jenny you? Baby's, um, dollhospital com. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they find me and they send me pictures right away and yeah. say, okay, this is, you know, my grandmother's doll that I have. It's fallen apart, you know, whatever the problem might be. Can you tell from a picture, though, if you'll be able to do it? You probably can do anything. I right? can tell a lot from a picture yeah. if I can do it yeah. um, in most cases. There Nine are times cases where I say can. I have to see it in person. Yeah. But um, nationwide, so a lot of them can't be brought. They have to be shipped anyway. Yeah. So, uh, so they, oh, you're national. I, well, my website is. Yeah. My website is, yes. And what's the yeah. furthest away you've had from a person who gave you uh, Canada, um, Las Vegas. Vegas? Yep. yep. And how did they hear from you? Yep. Probably they follow you online. They just Google, um, and it comes up. You are the only doll hospital yeah. that I have ever heard of, ever, mm -hmm. in Massachusetts or anywhere in New England. Are you the only one? Uh, I think there may be one other one in Massachusetts. I belong to an association called the Doll Doctors Association. The which, Doll Doctors Association? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where are they based? Um, they're based in New York. The president is in New York. Yeah. Um, and they're a nationwide organization and also out of the country. Yeah. So I refer a lot of the people that call me from the other side of the country sometimes yeah. to that association. Yeah. So maybe we can find a closer doctor for them and they can actually bring the doctor, the doll to them. Yeah. Um, and then some of them just don't, they don't want to look, no, no, I like your website, you know, yeah. I, I, I like your work, I want to send it to you. Well, that's fine too. And you're, you're, you're to open it. to, if you have a doll that you'd like to have refurbished or hospitalized, or yes, how do you put yes. it? You say Restored. Restored. Restored or repaired. Restored. Yes. It doesn't matter how old? No, not at all. Uh, most of the dolls that I do are from this age. They're antique dolls, the antique, antique and vintage. I do very, very few newer dolls. Well, but what, um, I, what constitutes newer, from the 60s up or? or yeah, no? I would say so, okay. yeah, yeah. I mean, I do some American Girl dolls. We get the American Girl dolls. The Barbie? ones get loose. Barbie, I never get Barbies. Mm -hmm. I think Barbie is in a different class of its own. And if I got a call maybe a week ago about a Barbie, which is the first call I had had in years. Yeah. And I usually refer them to someone who specializes in fixing only Barbies. There is and there such are a people thing. out there, yes, yes. I've never, again, I've never yeah. heard of this. We're mm -hmm. talking again yeah. with Janice McIntyre, and she's the owner of Jenny Baby's Doll Hospital over in Hopkinton. And why haven't I ever noticed you <laughs> over there? I know. that's it's, uh, Getting the word out is the toughest thing. It well, really it's the best is. thing. Yeah. Now, are, do you work, that's your sole job now? No, I work part-time. What do you still. do? Still. I work for a wellness center in Northboro. Oh, what do you do there? Um, I, receptionist. Oh, yep, good. Just part-time there. Yeah. And uh, about 25 hours a week. And then the rest I dedicate to this now. Thank you. Because you great. fixed your whole front porch. You, you put it into a reception area mm -hmm. for people coming in with their doll. Yeah. Is there a limit to how many dollars you'll take from one client? No, no. Um, if if they have, you know, two totes of them, yeah. I might say, okay, we'll do, let's do these four, and then we'll bring the rest back, you know. Right. Um, but no, of course not. And people donate dolls a lot, too. They donate them to they you? They want to donate them because they don't know what to do with them. No one in the family wants them. So I'll fix those up, and then if I have the young ones that come to the house, I'll let them take one home, let, let them oh. pick one out. So, you, you know, you try and... Um, pass it forward. Now, that beautiful one she was showing us, uh, the, the, the girl doll from India, do you do many from other countries also? Do I see a Spanish girl? Well, these, yeah, she's actually she's a Vogue a, doll. She's is that a Mantilla? Adam, Adam, but it's the same looks, customer. Ooh. But she's a Vogue doll, so that's oh. that's uh, United States. She looks like a, well, Spanish, right? Yeah. Oh, is that called a Mantilla? That I don't know. Uh, that I don't know. Oh, she I would have loved this. Though, isn't she? Oh, I would have loved this. Oh. Yeah. And she's vinyl, where these are hard plastic. And she's now, the reason the arms move is because it's an elastic, right? 
Well, not in the case with this one. No. This one is not put together with elastic. Um, her limbs go together. She's made differently um, than a, a strung doll. Do you ever have an American Indian, the, the uh, Native American dolls? Like yeah, absolutely. You have, have that too. Um, some, I have some small celluloid ones, um, and I have a whole collection of um, Indian dolls. I could have brought some to show you. I, bring, I do have them in the seminar that I do. You, you do? Yeah. What hours are you open, days? Um, well, it depends on the customer's needs, really. Yeah. Um, I kind of work my way around them. So I'm anywhere from 9 in the morning till maybe 5 in the evening. Yeah. Um, if I'm available and if it works out for them, we make it, we make it happen. 9 and in the And then weekends I'm willing um, yeah. as well. So you are very busy between working in the wellness center mm -hmm. and having your own business for the dolls. Yes. Are you ever working into the wee hours of the night fixing them? Um, no, no. But I am quite often in, in the weekends. Yeah. So oh, yeah. <laughs> working on them for sure. Yeah. When you when you got out of college, did you go major in something and this was just whole new to you or this came to me because I had the passion for collecting. And yeah. as I collected I wanted to know how to fix them, and I, I brought one of my dolls to, I was in Florida at the time, living in Florida, and I brought one of my dolls to a woman who fixed dolls, Yeah. and it had a broken finger, it was a hard plastic, yeah. and when I picked it up, it, you would have never known, and it just amazed me. How much I did she charge for that? How did you do that? How much? It was so long ago, I don't remember, but mm -hmm. maybe 25, I don't remember, yeah. but I was just amazed, and I said, you know, where can I learn how to do this? Mm -hmm. And her answer to me was, "It just takes years. It takes too many years, you know." Uh, but so you did go I to never school. forgot that. I you never did. forgot that. Yep. So I had moved back here to Massachusetts and still was collecting, and you know, I was repairing them on my own as a hobby. But I still wanted to get that that class. Uh, so I finally found when I found G and M Doll Restoration. How long was the class? How many days? Months? It was a week. Oh, yeah, a full week. Um, so it's like ten-hour days. Where'd you have to go? Virginia Beach. Oh, you Virginia, had to travel. Yeah. You didn't mm -hmm. mind that at all, huh? No, because this is what I wanted to you do. You wanted to do And there's nothing close by um, that does that. Do you have workshops? Do you teach others now? I don't. I have been asked about that. Yes. And people have suggested it might be something that I go into, but you need the space for it, too. Um, it depends. You can also yeah. go to libraries are, are hosting yeah. this type of workshop. Many of them, well, I'm a publicist, so I know yeah. how to get people out. Um, yeah. Oh, my gosh. you would. Be it depends on yeah. you know what aspect of the repair you're teaching, because a lot of it is glues and sanding yeah. and um, paste, so it's dirty and dusty, and a lot of it is, especially with this type of um, yeah. restoration sure. here. Yeah. It gets really, uh, it can get dirty. So if you messy. want to do a workshop... Where would be the best place for it? In a community center? Yeah, it could be. Yeah, senior center possibly. Ah, we've yep. got tons of senior centers. Yep. would love exactly. to. I mean, I know they would love to. To see. learn how to restring a doll. Uh, restrings are the thing that we do mostly in mm -hmm. um, these antique dolls. Um, restringing with the elastic. And that's something yeah. that could, you know, that can be taught. Even in a, even in a workshop, if they can't learn everything, they mm -hmm. know you're there. Mm -hmm. And let's say... They've got a couple dolls at home. They said, well, I know where to bring it. Exactly. Another way to get the word out about yes. what you do. Yeah. Tell them again how they can reach you. You can reach me at, my email is jennybabies26 at yahoo.com, and my website is jennybabiesdollhospital.com. I love the one down on the, the bottom there. She's standing on her own paw. Like, you know the one girl, the little one in with the white, beautiful white, like, lace-type dress? What is that lace, or what do you call that? Is that, what is it? Yeah. White cotton dress. Oh. That looks like Little House on the Prairie. And it's got beading on it, all beading on it. Yeah? yeah. Remember Little House on the Prairie? Eyelet, I think is what we're That looks of, like yeah. it was Little House on the Prairie. Exactly, yes. And that is real hair. Yes. I mean, I could take my hair, <laughs> and she could have my hair. <laughs> yes. I mean, this is, where do you, it's, it, you have to get a real hair wig, right? You can buy human hair wigs, you can buy synthetic wigs, and you can buy mohair wigs. So obviously the least expensive would be synthetic, right? Correct. I mean, real Correct. hair. Yes. People donate that. And the mohair is expensive too. It's a little pricey. Yeah. Yes, mohair. Mohair, yeah, because um, a lot of the antique dolls had mohair. Well, there is that. What was it that program? Um, Locks of Love. Mm -hmm. Do people have their hair cut off so that it can be made into a wig for someone going through chemo. Yes. yes. I love that idea. Yes, me too. Yeah. Do you? You never know where that would come from. Exactly. Right? It could, yeah. could be a little girl. It could be a grown woman. It, yeah. it, it. No wonder it looks so real. Yeah, it's not done nowadays, but in the days that when this doll was created. 
a lot of the time women would cut their hair, other children's hair, and they would put it on the doll. It was it was common then. Wow. Yeah. I never yeah. heard of that. Yeah, not in our time. But did you grow up in Massachusetts, Janice? In Hopkinton. So you grew up in it. Then you went yeah. to Florida. Yeah, I went to Florida for a while, yeah. and um, just could never fall in love with Florida. Yeah, um, I couldn't either. <laughs> you know, I was on the Gulf side, so it was gorgeous. I loved the Gulf of Mexico. But I miss New England, and my family was here, and I miss yeah. my family. So I was down there for about five years and resigned from the company I went down with and came home. What did your family think about your beautiful dolls? They love them. They love them. Um, my daughter loves them. Yeah. Uh, my son, eh, you no, know, well. I, he respects them. <laughs> yeah, he respects what mom's thing is. <laughs> yeah. 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 Does your daughter have collections of them? He does. No, she no, does not. No. no, she doesn't. No. But mm. she's, I mean, she's... She probably grew up with dolls all around her. She's, yes, she did. She probably indeed. never lacked for a doll. Indeed. Right, right. What was your favorite? Baby dolls? Dressy dolls? What did you Definitely like? Definitely baby dolls. Oh, me too. Did yes, you have a child. carriage to walk them? Yeah, in the oh. bassinet beside my bed. Oh, I had a real crib that we kids slept in. My parents yeah. put that in my bedroom, and I had a small bedroom yeah. <laughs> with a double bed. Mm -hmm. But they said, well, let's get it in there. So they put it in there, and there's this life-size baby doll in there. Yeah. Oh, my best friend and I would proudly walk them in the neighborhood. Yeah. We were 12 or 13. Yeah. We weren't pushed to grow up quick. But Well, I believe, too. I just It was just a, a calming, yeah. you know, nice feeling, and I just I always enjoyed them. Always yeah. enjoyed Not them. all the girls. I mean, I find a lot of the women say, well, no, I was into Barbies. I'm like, yeah. yeah, that just lasted just so long with me. Well, my sister wasn't even into dolls. She, from the time she could say horse, her thing was horses. Horses. Yep. Now so I'd have the, I'd have the Barbie and should have the the horse the horse that they made for Barbie to ride on. She'd get the horse. Oh, yeah, and you she'd rather she'd rather play with the horse than a doll. It's just and you were the baby of the family. I was the youngest. Yes, you were the youngest. Yeah. Nobody else cared about dolls. Um, not really. My mom always enjoyed dolls. Yeah, so did mine. Um, yeah. She had a Shirley Temple doll. Um, I did too. I had a Shirley Temple, but I don't know where she went. I don't know if yeah. she was handed down. I don't know where. It, again, I don't. I don't know where. Yeah, she had one. She always liked dolls, so maybe I kind of got a little bit of that from her. Yeah. Um, when I do my seminars at the the senior centers and the assisted living site, I did one yesterday. The first question they ask is, "Do you have a Shirley Temple doll?" Seminar. Now, what's the difference between that and a work? Do you did a workshop? Um, I do. It's a, it's a doll presentation okay. that I do. It's called the World of Dolls. Like we're kind of doing here with the showing everybody. The yep. Yeah, and I bring in about thirty five dolls, and I start from the Civil War, and then I go into the early 1900s, mid, all the way up to 1960s, with the dolls there, yeah. and talk about the dolls, what they were made of then, how they changed, the clothing, and show them um, all kinds of dolls. And, and where have just, you been appearing, or, and where are you going to appear? Um, I was at Franklin Library a couple weeks ago. Franklin? Franklin Library. That's a beautiful yep. library. Um, St. Patrick's Manor in Framingham, okay. did not too long ago. Yesterday, I was at, um, it was an assisted, assisted living in, where are the outlets down south on 495? So assisted living, mm -hmm. nursing homes or? Yes, uh, nursing no? homes. And senior centers? Senior centers, yeah. Uh, I'm going to be doing Avon Senior Center next week. Very good. Now, yeah, do they yeah. come to you or you do you? Call, I go to them. You call them? Absolutely. You just pick them and I think I'll call this one. Oh, well, I have cards that I send out. Ah. And advertisements, yeah, Very and good. I mail them to them, yeah. um, or I email them, mm -hmm. and then they'll call me, and um, then I go to them. So I oh. have thirty-five, forty dolls that I yeah. take with me and set them all up, and yeah. I mean it's fun. And there's novelty dolls that I show them. Yeah. Um, one's a purse, um, a topsy turvy doll, so it's got a face on one end and then a face on the other. I never heard of that. What is that? Yeah. It sounds like a monster. It's a cloth doll. Yeah. And if you hold it up and just look at it, you would think it's a Little Red Riding Hood. So it's a cloth and then a little plastic face. Yeah. So I show them this is Little Red Riding Hood. And Little Red Riding Hood was going to see her grandmother. And you turn it upside down. And it's her grandmother? And the dress comes over and the face becomes the grandmother. I've never heard of that. And then you say, well, but who was there when she got there? And the wolf. And you take the kerchief and open it and turn it. I should have brought it with me. Yeah, it and becomes a wolf. And it becomes the wolf. And it's a topsy-turvy Did doll. you create it? No, no, it's a vintage doll. And you yeah. fixed it? Yep. It was given to you? It was donated, yep. Yeah. And so now I bring it to all the seminars, and they just love it. They love it. Yeah, it's fun. You are amazing. It's fun stuff. Janice McIntyre, <laughs> and she is the owner of Jenny Baby's Doll Hospital right over here in Hopkinton. If you're mm -hmm. from out of the state, the country, you can still reach her. How do they do that again? Jenny Baby's Doll Hospital, 
yahoo.com or jennybabies26 at yahoo.com. Did you want to give, is there a particular phone you want to give out or they'll just... Sure, that's fine. That would be 617-980-6642. And that's how you can reach Janice. And don't be shy. I mean, if you've got some at home and you... You really want to get them fixed up, and boy, this gal is absolutely amazing. I mean, I love those dolls there. Mm -hmm. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. It, it That's just, quite a collection, a nice collection that she's got there. Yeah, yeah, so if you have a doll at home, baby doll, or basically yeah. any doll that kind of getting old and it really needs to be, I mean, let's see this one again. I just want to show you, the one right beside oh. you. Look at the shape. It looks like a, a, an abused child. It's not. It's a doll that she is putting back together in 19, what was it? 19 the 1940s era. In the 1940s, yeah. okay. Composition. And she is putting it together again. So eventually, this little boy, right? He'll be will, completely painted. Yeah. He yep. will be right back. And he will have a costume on, right? I have his arms, and he has a costume with a cowboy hat, jeans, and a dungaree shirt. She'll fix your dolls really up cute. for you. Really cute. Um, but there's a lot to it. That's kind of what I brought that for. Yeah, you know, my mother would have, and I bet my grandmothers would have loved to see something like this. Mm -hmm. I am so glad I now know about about uh, Janice because uh, who knew? Yeah, I know. Are you the, let me see now, the, the, what was the organization again that you belong to? The Doll Doctors Association. Doll it's a nationwide program. Just go online, Doll Doctors Association. Yeah. And you can find, um, there's a, a hospital locator, mm -hmm. so you can go to any state and just, you know, touch on the state and they'll tell you, you know, where there are people sure. who do Do you have conferences together? You all meet from different states? They do have them once a year. Yeah. Um, but I find most of the time it's, you know, it's too far and it's, you know, it's hard to, I wish they'd do them more in this area. But this reminds yeah. me of, you know, in the Adams family, uh, Pugsley's sister. They yes. would have a doll that was mangled. Yes, yes. <laughs> and that was her idea of a great doll. Yeah, exactly. You know, if it was the only a way she'd have it. Right, if it was a pretty doll. Oh, no. But, right. you know, but this no, This is not the Adams film. No. She's going to make him look great. He will be adorable when he's done. But yeah. he looks so much older than a doll in the 40s, though. So that's yeah. the whole thing. Yeah. He's going to be cute. Now, when do you think you'll be finished with him? Um, by July. That's when he's due. So I'll be done with him. And somebody's going is waiting for him. Yeah. It's like waiting for the birth of a baby. It's got to be a, um, a birthday gift for the owner of the doll oh who hasn't God. seen it in a long time yeah Aww. and I get a lot of that a lot of people yeah. surprising people um I don't know if you ever heard of the Patty Playpal doll yeah. she stands about this high yeah and she was a doll beautiful hair and a gentleman called me and his wife had a Patty Playpal that had been put in the closet for a long time and mm -hmm. wanted it restored and she kept saying I'm going to do it I'll do it and uh, it was their anniversary so he snuck the doll to me and we put her all back together, restrung her, had to recondition, shampoo the hair, comb it out. Uh, she came out beautiful. What and year is uh, Patty Playpal? She's also from the 50s. 1958, 1960. What's considered an antique? What? Where does the antique? Um, 1800s. Oh, okay, so none of the 19... So antique, you got to have a doll from the 1800s. Like 100 years old, yeah. Yeah. 100 year olds. Yeah. yeah, I know. Someone tried to uh, get money for their Barbie and a baby doll, but they were turned away. Well, it's not long enough yet. Yeah. yeah no. Do you remember the Dighty doll? The Dighty? Dighty? My Actually, best someone mentioned that doll to me yesterday. My best friend show, and I yeah. had a Dighty doll with soft little hair. Mm -hmm. It was a baby doll. I remember that she had one and I wanted one so bad my yeah. parents got me one. It had the tube, I believe, inside. Really? Yeah. Did it wet? She was about this big. Yeah. yeah. With fur, like soft fur. We've got to we've got to close, but Jenny, we need to have you back. Janice, we need to have you back on again. She so she shows up in the most adorable sneakers, and I've been looking <laughs> for these sneakers for a long time. We're gonna talk. <laughs> you have been a lot of fun. Thank you. So I'm you need it. to have your doll. Go over to Hopkinton. All right, Jenny Baby's Doll Hospital. It does exist. Yep. Get in touch with Janice and um, set it up and bring it over and show it to her and see what she could do. We'll you know, make it work. Make surgery yes. right. <laughs> doll Absolutely. surgery right next door. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll see you next time. Riding on a shooting star Heading out toward a dream